At this point, you're very familiar with doing square roots, and now it's time to graph a square root function. And we'll start with a base function of y equals the square root of x. And we even have a table for this. Recall that the square root of 0 is 0. So our y-intercept for this base is going to be 0, that is, right at the origin. Now. As we go positive, all is good. The square root of 1 is 1, the square root of 4 is 2, square root of 9 is 3, and so on. Now, the steepness of this graph actually gets smaller as we go to the right, opposite to the base exponential function, which we remember got steeper as we go to the right. Looking at the negatives, and we have something strange here. What is the square root of negative 1? Well, there's no real number solution to that. Same as with negative 4 and negative 9 or any negative number. So there's nothing to graph on the negative side here. So our square root function just kind of appears at a point and then grows to the right like this. If we put a negative out front, the graph reflects vertically, just like our polynomial functions. Also, like the polynomials, we can shift the graph up and down by adding or subtracting a number at the end. So our starting point also shifts up and down. 